O'Brien. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Make it a great night, folks. Don't make assumptions. Communicate with clarity. Communicate with others as clearly as you can be to avoid misunderstanding, sadness, and drama. If all humans would communicate with the impeccability of the word, all our relationships would change. There'd be no wars, no violence, no misunderstandings. Those last three lines would be pretty cool, but pretty tough. My otherwise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 184, NASDAQ up 67, S&P's up 7, 18 and a half. Gold, gold contract trading up $12 at 2,052 an ounce. We have silver up 21 cents, $24.32 cents an ounce. Light sweet crude up 97 cents. $73.44 a barrel, notes and bonds. 10-year note, up four ticks, trading 112.12. 30-year up 10 ticks at 123.18 in King Dollar. King Dollar is trading down 368 ticks, 102.193. Euro 109, yen 143.96. And the British pound, 127 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at it. Let's, get, let's look at the futures first and see where we're at here intraday. Because we know we're stretched. That's the bottom line. But the bottom line is that we got an ABC structure on the way up. We're coming to the end of the year. So let's just take a look at this intraday and see where we're at here. So if we take a look at this intraday, okay, so you got no, we've had no volume all day. Right there, yeah. So this market here, so we've hit a high of 48.17 and the S&Ps. You, you got a low of 47.87. You know, right where we are right now, this is we're going to bounce, man. You can see this. This is where we were this morning. This is the last time. Is it right there? Actually, what is that? It's a little bit lower. So that's actually 48.07 here. Let me pull this across here. There it is right there. You know. Yeah, I can get down to that, but, you know, you'll bounce right out of there again. We'll, we'll, my take is we're going to run into a close again. That's how this shakes out because there's not a lot to basically, you know, right now what you have, folks, is you're in a momentum market. And momentum markets, particularly at the end of the year, you're just going to run. NDX 100. We take a look at the NDX 100, same type of setup inside the NDX. We'll take a look at the three Qs. Qs are up a buck 32 right now. That's an ABC structure up to four. 34. If we do the same exercise, I suspect it's going to get us the same bar because that's how it normally runs. So we'll take a look at the future here. And there it is right there. Yep, that's it right there. Yeah, we just pulled down to the last. Well, it's right there actually. Right there. I see. Okay. So there it is right there. We almost pulled down to. Last time with any, you know, volume on the move. And you can see down at the bottom here, we didn't, we didn't go down with volume either. We're not going up with volume, not down with volume. But that just says they're going to they're run it down the end, meaning coming in. We go to the, uh, well, here, no, you know what I want to do first? Just to show you this ABC market is insane. A, a firm. Now, check this out. A, F, R, M. Now, this is the, the thing that's really wild about this. This is the financial company that is at all checkouts now. And I actually was at, I got a little tiny variety store up the street from me, and this wasn't a firm, but there's someone else that, as a company like that, at the checkout. So imagine you can buy milk and bread, and the, the bottom line is you can pay for it later. Now, this is, a, this is in an ABC up, it, and the news out here today is that a firm just made a deal with Walmart, and it's going to be at the self checkout lines okay that's why you see this thing up seven and a half dollars today okay when you take a look at it it's an abc structure up it's taking the b point out taking it out with volume has all of the above if you put this on the weeklies what you're going to see is that yeah it's a stock that has got destroyed and guess what it's come off those lows however you know you built a huge base you come off the lows and you come off the lows with volume 
So bottom line was that even if you turn around and say, okay, what is a 0 0.382 retracement? Well, a 0 0.382 is, is quite large here. It's like 70 bucks at $73. And the ABC structure on this is about 70 bucks. You know, so there's ABCs all over the place, folks. We go into the, the note and bond market. We take a look at the 10-year. The 10-year right now, really, you get a sideways move out here. Uh, you're up five ticks. You don't have, you can see yesterday we came down with no volume. Today you're going up with no volume. Gold. Gold's performing, though. If we did have a gold, this is what we needed with gold. The bottom line is that it, it, it had pulled back. It had done what it should have done on the pullback. Now we're starting to get some action. And I suspect we're up 1220. And, you know, that high volume high that we had, that's when it, it spiked and then gave it up in spades. That's going to be the first move. The next move, you know, bottom line with, is going to be with conviction. And what that is all about is that that's a monthly ABC structure on the way up. Uh, to the 2500 mark. And then if we go to the dollar and you take a look at the dollar, what you see in here, the dollar just couldn't hold price three days. And you can kind of see this. See how it's under that whole deal? So we came down fast and furious. You did a counter trend bounce. It broke the swing. It tried to get above the swing for th four days. It tried it this morning too. It couldn't handle it. That's just telling me that it's going to be another run right down to this 99 area. If that's what you get, bottom line, that's when you're going to see the S&P move higher. That's when you see the commodities move higher. And it's all about the dollar, man. That's it. It comes down to that. It's a, it's a cut and dry deal, man, which is pretty amazing. Some of the higher volume equities that we have out here today, you have uh, Tesla's up four and a half dollars. The firm's one of the big ones. It's up seven and a half dollars. You get, uh, let's see, inside the NDX 100, the strength versus the weakness inside the NDX. Alumina is up 7%. You got Sirius Satellite up 4, Moderna's up 4, Walgreens up uh, 3. Taken away from it, Vert Vertec uh, is down 1. You get uh, NVIDIA up 1%. Other than that, man, there's not much selling out here, that's for sure. Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading up uh, a buck 90. Nasdaq's up 75. S&Ps are up 20. Stay right there, folks. We're going to come back with our man, Mr. Basil Chapman. We are talking markets. And on the break, folks, Basil is doing a workshop for his subscribers. Okay? You can be a subscriber right here, right now. Just go over to our website. You're going to see it right under Featured Content. You can sign up now. And Basil's going to be explaining what exactly he's going to be teaching. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Mm -hmm.